Man 978 with the chill review. T Man 978, he will get you through. T Man 978 likes hearing his own name. Hello, everyone. Before I start, I want to thank Mr. Nathan Simmons for believing that I will review this guy and send it back to him. <laughs> Anywho, this is from DNA Design, and his name is Susanu. It's their first product. You saw all this, so let's open this up. And I want to make do another note that he bought this guy from Pia. Pia, of all people. Let's look at this included backdrop that they put there. If you put Mr. Seasonu right there in front of it and zoomed on in, you could take some cool pictures if you weren't knocking the crap back down after you set things up. And there you go. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, it would be awesome. You know what else is awesome? This booklet right here it's because they have this design sketch phase in here right there. Well, I say phase, but it's it's just a Japanese-inspired image of it. It looks better than the actual toy, to be honest. But there's his name again, just in case you forget. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Now that I've played with this thing, I do not feel like reviewing it. It's an okay toy to have in your collection, and it's nice to look at and nice in your display, but it is not a fun toy to review. In fact, this is the second attempt at this, because... Ugh. It's very, very fiddly, and it's not fun to maneuver as far as sitting back here behind the camera like some other toys are. But here is what it looks like from the front. That's what it looks like from the side. And with this backpack on, this is what it looks like from behind. Of course, it's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be like this. I guess you could tilt it, and you could store in this little can and barrel come on fit in there yeah there you go right there so let's show you this from the front to you if you want everything attached right there maybe you don't want the sword in there so there you go with that but without the sword there is like no way to store this i don't believe unless maybe i mean the original the original design for this which was part of the fall i mean hunt for decepticons you could store the sword in like a little clip right there. If you want to store it on the side, you have to make sure this is rotated out. It rotates, it's normally in like that. I'm not going to push it all the way in because it's hard to grab. Put that out, grab this, stick it onto the peg, and then we can take the sword and look at that. Now, it's sharp in the bottom. It comes to a tip. So you would think you would put the sword in this way, but no. You have to actually put the sword in this way or it won't go in there, which is kind of weird. With the sword stored there, he can get in the excellent poses like this where he's reaching for the sword and holding the sheath, which is cool in my opinion. Now, let's let you get a closer look at that sword. It has some like Japanese characters right there. It's very long, which is cool. If you want him to hold it, you have to push this little piece in right there and try your best to grab it. I cut my fingernails finally, and now it's even tougher to get at, but you get the drill. The inside of his hand has that cutout right there. You're supposed to use this right here and slide it in one side into the cutout. So that way he can hold it securely. Wrap the thumb and fingers around, of course. And now he's holding the sword, which is a good thing for a samurai sword wielding dude to be able to do, hold a sword. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. Now this gimmick back here, I showed it off early by accident. You can push this button and now he has two swords stored in there. Note that this is painted silver. That's cool. Take this out. Take that out. 
and there is some gold detail right there on the sheaves. These two little swords are identical and they're significantly smaller than his bigger sword. They probably have some type of name and I'm not an expert in swords. Unlike the bigger sword, he only has that one tab, so all you have to do is worry about is putting that one tab in there. Now he can wield a long sword and a short sword, or he can wield two short swords. You could put the swords upside down in his hands, but it doesn't look right because you do not see the bottom of the handle hanging out the top of the hand. To show you this, all his weapons can store on his body at once. If you have these three, two, these three weapons right here as far as his tank weapons, that right there and his little swords on the inside of here they can all be on there at once but if you detach these these can actually become a new hand weapon for Susan E. now this little rail gun or whatever you want to call it you could just do this put it in his hand and let that be a gun but what you're supposed to do is rotate this this way take these two parts Plug them into each other. Maybe fold these down out of the way. And go ahead and there are two pegs right there. They go into these peg holes right here on the silver part of the rail gun. Come on. Boy, did I mention that this was not a fun <laughs> toy to review on camera, but now he has this bigger gun. And with this clip being on that side, I feel like it should go in his left hand. Just like the swords, he has the one peg right there. One cool thing with the way it's shaped, that f index finger is on the trigger further out than the other fingers. And I, I do, do think that that's cool. He does have one more optional accessory, but we'll get into that later. It has something to do with his head, which looks like this. I believe this is actually the optional head. Yeah, yeah, or optional face. This is the face he's supposed to have. I'll show you that one later. This one is a regular skull with regular teeth, not smiling or angry or anything. Just there, static. And I like that detail on there. His head is like really, really big and round, if you can't tell. He can look down, he can look up a little bit, and he can rock left and right, which is cool. All of this is excellently painted and I like it. I like it. I like that detail. These are a little fragile feeling, so be careful. Now what you got to do is grab from the chin, lift up and pull that face off and he looks like that. Now we can put the top head crest in there and bring that down and now we have this face, which is way more scary and menacing and way more demonic looking. You can see the red eyes, the sharp teeth and it has way more like panel lining maybe this has panel lining too but that definitely looks like a cartoon drawing or whatever coming to come to life like maybe cell shaded one thing i didn't go into yet is this backpack is removable it's only on with this little tiny notch which i don't like once you remove that this should be up like that it's made of, all of this is made out of die cast and here's the detail you can see right there. You can pull that down, lift this up, and it just stays up and out of the way. It's amazing. And once you do that, his waist can rotate. It could rotate a lot, but it's leaving details like this out in the open. And you might not want that. I don't like it anyway. And I didn't mention it, but if you wanted to, you could put the sword over here. Other articulation here is 20 points of articulation in each arm from the shoulder down. Starting from here, the shoulder can rotate outward here. And there's still a little bit of detail. It does disconnect right there, but it is what it is. Outside of that, this little shoulder can rotate all the way around. And its arm can still move out to the side right there, which is cool. It rotates here. Rotates here, rotates here, it's an elbow there, elbow bend right there. It's another separate little elbow right there to make him get more than nothing. The wrist rotates and the thumb has a ball joint on the base, another, a hinge right there and a hinge right here. The other fingers has 
a ball joint at the base of each and just the first knuckle is on the hinge but the other one is just sculpted in to look like it's bent already and they're in the shape of claws I really like that because it's menacing I showed the waist off the hips can kick out that far right there sorry they don't go back which I don't like because I wanted to have the, like a crotch thrust pose with this dude but I can't he has thigh rotation the legs can go out to the side that much I thought there's more but no he actually has upper knee rotation can you see the aesthetic of the leg right there they want these wheels on the side if you want to you could rotate the leg this way if you wanted them to have more natural looking legs move the wheels back and now it could be like that if you want it but when you do that these bump and he doesn't have this range of motion that i'm about to show you right now he has this knee that bends doubly right there here's an issue with this thing qc issue these should have had bigger tabs they're supposed to bend in to fill in his leg and they constantly fall off ankle super ankle pivot foot can kick forward that much can kick down a bit which is cool and all the whole foot is made out of die cast and it has this this right here this little rubber strip right there and a rubber pad right there to help him from falling over so he has good articulation, but you have to fiddle with it. Now, if you weren't doing a review like I'm doing right now, it might be a little bit therapeutic to keep moving this dude around and then fixing the little things to be just right. But he has these treads hanging off right here. He has these treads hanging off right here. Somehow, magically, they stay into the shape that you put them in. I don't know how that works with, with just friction. It stays that way, but they get in the way. And, I don't know, you could you could set it up to your liking, whatever you like the best. Or you could roll this up and connect this to this and have it folded up like that if you wanted to. But, like I said, this whole foot, all of that is die cast. I believe that's not die cast, this isn't die cast. But, overall, it's a, it's a cool action figure. Definitely a cool action figure. Now, I wanted to try to get him into a cool pose. Your imagination might be better than mine, but this is what I'm working with right now under these hot lights. I forgot to mention, because of the transformation joint, he kind of has an ab crunch right there, kind of. But it kind of, you can barely tell that he's using it, which, yeah, but it is there. Transformation. Let's see if I can do this without making myself look crazy. They tell you to take the backpack off. I, I guess that would be a smart move because it's going to just keep falling off anyway. Take that off. Rotate these little pieces in like I showed you now. I'll do it all the way like that. They want you to rotate that. Bring this up like that. Rotate that. Bring that up like that. Take the head and shove it down into his chest right here. Okay. Okay. Now the arms are a little bit weird. They tell you to rotate this. Basically, this part of the shoulder joint right there needs to be all the way down like that. That's that's what they want. Rotate that like that. Now we need to bring this shoulder joint down like that. Bring that shoulder joint like that. Take this, fold it over the hands. Maybe bring the fingers in a bit. Bring this over the hands. I'm going to bring the fingers in over the thumb bit right there. Um, rotate this up. Rotate that up. Now they want you to bring this to here. Rotate that around. Wait. Okay. To specify, these little panels need to be straight and flat. Like, these hinges need to make, make them come all the way out like that. And now we need to bend the arm this way. Pull the 
forearms like little rocket a little bit which is honestly difficult and you don't realize that it can actually pull out like that it was confusing as crap to me the first time i did this so i want to definitely make sure i show that off bend the elbow up like that bring this up like this and now peg that into here same stuff on this side make sure this is all the way up rotate that forward and peg this into here and you definitely still wouldn't remember i showed you that black piece needed to be down in the shoulder make sure that's down and bring this up on both sides and make them come together like so right there like so now that gets that can hang down if you want and bring this up in here like that that tabs into there so it's fiddly oh boy you're gonna be frustrated trying to get this to be lined up perfect it drives me mad i probably have this elbow i mean this little joint right there wrong yeah i had it wrong this detail is supposed to be on the outside and then it'll get flushed a little bit better than I had it. Now we need to move this crotch skirt out of the way and move this stuff off to the side out of the way. We can take this wheel right here, put it out like that, and you're supposed to shift the thigh outward. You might have to like wiggle it as you're pushing at the same time. Do the same thing on this side, pull the wheels out and wiggle the thigh outward. It feels like nothing's happening. It looks like nothing's happening. But you know you have it right when this line lines up with that line right there. But put the wheel out like that. Okay, okay. Now we can rotate these side panels you're gonna rotate them all the way once we get this stuff down done down here move this try to we can shove these knee pads down into place try to rotate all of this armor up without knocking that little piece off good luck okay now we can squeeze this foot in if it's not already in squeeze that in bring this up under here and rotate this little panel same stuff on this side i'm gonna rotate this little panel in which is stiffer on that side squeeze the toe in and rotate all of this armor up off the leg right there bring the foot up under here and now we can go ahead and rotate this this way and finish rotating this off to the side make sure the knee is straight same thing over here rotate this off to the side bring this up make sure the knee is straight now we can go ahead rotate this around and we connect this onto the little black clip like this which is kind of difficult to do you have to feed it in with maybe your fingernails or whatnot but basically get that to be together and do the same thing on this side one thing i forgot to mention bring this panel down on both sides okay okay now we can detach this right here, bring these right here, and bring these up. This little bar right here goes over here. This is supposed to slide for it like that. Bring this down. Same thing over here, bring this forward, bring that down. Bring this down right there. And this is supposed to slide up on that. 
but now we have to connect this to that connect and this why does not fun these stupid panels bring this to here and goodness now we can lift that all the way up and rotate it for it to here oh boy unfold this bring it down like that try your damnedest to keep this straight like this and now start pushing this down start pushing this panel down a little bit I'm not refilming this but apparently I didn't have this rotated like this hand this is on the hands it needs to rotate down over top of that foot so that this can meet up with this you got it you got it and then basically we're gonna have to shift this forward so that it can meet up with that okay you got that so basically over here what I did wrong was not have this detach this bring this nice and this little piece keeps coming off bring this up here to meet this now what would be funny is if I show this completely completely unedited but I know I'm not going to do that bring this up to here to meet this okay okay now we can bring this down and this needs to it's two little tabs right there or um pegs they need to go inside of this little thing right here and now we can connect this tread to this tread please ignore the noise in the background one thing that's extremely difficult getting all of this lined up together and then getting this at an angle where you can actually make these latch on it is so freaking difficult but you get the idea same thing with the other part get that to latch on and now you gotta fiddle it back to get this back together and like I said this is not a fun toy to freaking review and look at that 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 little piece fell off <laughs> and now all this is coming apart you, you see what I'm working with raw oh boy I, I, I'm not messing with this thing okay let's attach this back up here i try my damn this to be as professional as possible but i can't get this to line up and stay and when i do get it to line up this pops so i'm pretty sure i am not going to be the only person that has that problem so i want to keep this real when i say i try to be professional i try to get these transformations the best i can but this thing is fighting me like crazy and I don't feel like it right now. So, review on the transformation. It is difficult as hell and not fun. And then, this is a tank. It has these cool treads or whatever. They don't roll. So, you can just slide it back and forth. This turret rotates. Tear it doesn't go up and down or anything. But if you detach all this stuff from here, like I showed earlier, you can pull these little clips out. You can attach this here. Put that off to the side. Of course, it's adjustable and whatnot. Same thing over here. No, let's aim it the right way. Same thing over here. Grab this, rotate that back up. And now he has more weapons and whatnot. He has these little antenna that Nathan already had attached. 
they show that you're supposed to put these on after you finish transforming. It's decent. It's a decent looking tank. It probably would be more decent if I could get these panels to stay together. But it, it is frustrating as hell. And, and I'm not going to kill myself. It looks like something's supposed to click onto this. I don't know what that might be. But there you go with that. I can't think of any use I had for that in the robot mode. So there, I, I, I don't know what's up with that. Here's what he looks like from the bottom. You can still see his face. So, and most of his body. Huh, there you go with that. Size comparison, here he is next to a Masterpiece car. A deluxe car. A Voyager class movie truck. And MP10 right here. So, roughly about the same length as mp10 but whatever there you go right there well as you saw this thing is nice to look at in robot mode but you saw all of little frustrating stuff that i talked about so it is what it is if you want to deal with all that stuff you can deal with it if you don't yeah you you won't be missing out too much to be honest i can't tell you not to get it because it's not a horrible toy but it has a lot of frustrating aspects the transformation being one of them and me not being able to get it to stay together as well as it probably should. And there may be something that I'm doing wrong, but I I don't know. Even after correcting the issue of shifting this forward, it's still a mess. So there you go with that. But anyway, if this helped you out in any other way, any type of way, I mean, click the like button, subscribe, share, comment. Man 978 out of here. Thank you for watching. I believe this is actually the optional head. Yeah, it, or optional face. This is the face you suppose I have. I'll show you that one later. This one is just like a regular skull with. Click, click the video. Click the freaking video, baby. Yeah, this robot made me tired, but know what I'm not tired of? You! I'm so happy that you stuck around and watched this whole entire video, and I really appreciate that. Stay tuned for more stuff. Click that shit.